Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. Not that raised. Was, born. Yeah, that was my intro here. Yeah. <laughs> here she comes. Aww. <laughs> Congratulations. It. So it was a huge <sighs> hug out there. Who was that? Oh, oh, that was Sarah Hildebrandt. She had got bronze at the Olympics. She's been my teammate for like ever. Like we competed against the same or different schools in college. She's just, she's a Libra as well. Her birthday just passed. My birthday is coming up. Okay, she's congratulations great. soon then. Ah, uh, 29. So tell me, everybody was pretty shocked yesterday when you went out of the semifinals, but how is it to end up with the bronze here today? Um, obviously it's not what I wanted, but at the same time, through all this adversity that I've been through from the Olympics, I, I just thank God that I was able to even pull it through. Because I honestly, if you saw me before and you've known what I've gone through in these past three months, yeah, I'm applauding myself. I only have God to thank. And just all the people around me, the support team was endless. I wanted to just give up and they were like, no. Don't. You have so much fight left in you, and sure enough, I did. Congratulations. I'm so happy you didn't give up, because this was a fun match to watch. Oh, thank you. I'm going to start crying. No, I'm not. Uh, no, you. Thank you. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I've been crying for an hour. I shouldn't cry anymore. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Oh, I always forget that. Okay. <laughs> no saliva this time. <laughs> Samira, Samira you, you went out there and did it, right? I, yeah. Uh, I know you didn't feel good about this weekend, but talk about tonight. Um, behind the scenes or on the scene, like, or well, whatever you want to tell us. <laughs> um, it's been really rough since the Olympics, and um, uh, I haven't had time to really just live in the moment and enjoy the fruits of my labor and after like having COVID and hurting my back honestly I didn't even know how I was gonna even come here and do anything and um, I'm honestly just really proud of myself because I did <laughs> it's not like it was a terrible loss like it's just it's still heartbreaking that um it happened but I'm happy I was able to come back. I admire my, my twin sister. I'm always calling her a comeback kid and I would never be able to do like what she did. But I proved to myself today that I am strong enough and I am enough. Well, we're super sorry. I, I want to keep it about the wrestling real quick. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> You've got a sing leg to both sides, and it's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Do you try and get your head to the outside once you get to that leg? Oh, uh, yeah. I've been trying to figure that out. I think I do. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. It's, it's something that I like to be unpredictable with because yeah. people know that I shoot a single, but they don't know which side, and I, I like to be unpredictable. And when you're unpredictable, you can be unstoppable. And... Yeah. I got it on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> what made today difficult for you? Um, do you want me to tell you or you want to take a wild guess? <laughs> like, like, just just, uh, just, just having to come back, yeah. Loss and coming back for, for bronze. Not just that. Yeah. Like, this back-to-back -back tournament, Olympics, on an incredible high, barely been able to... Yeah, like I said, enjoy the moment, and then I had to come back, and, you know, make weight and just be under that stress. And of course, I was under the guys, the, the guys of, I'm happy, I'm ready to yeah. be here, yay! But I told y'all earlier, I told Mike, right now I am, I'm not, I don't have a target on my back. Honestly, I felt like the underdog, and it was because of everything that I'd gone through. And so, like some, like some of you guys just don't. I'm not going to tell you, but, right. um, you know, in another interview maybe, but it made it hard, and then I lost. It didn't even make it even harder. So I'm like, why am I here right now? I'm here for everybody else, but I'm not feeling it. And then having to come back yeah. and just prove to yourself, even though you are not mentally here and you feel like you are un you're mentally and physically unprepared, you are enough. And Terry kept saying, it's not about what happened in these past three months. Like what you've done in the past 12 years, use that to fuel you tonight. And 
it was hard because you know you get in yourself you start wallowing and weeping and going oh whoa well, me but I did it I had the courage today's the end of a really long stretch you've been talking about so what's on the other side of this how are you going to kind of like calm down Oh my, there is no come down. I'm going to be at home all of seven days next month or this month and it's going to be exhausting and it's going to be all about the Olympics, but I'm only going to be thinking about world championships because it just happened and people are going to be like, how's it feel to win the Olympics? I'm like, did you see my match at the world championships a week ago? So I have a whirlwind of things about to come my way, but at the same time, I'm getting a new truck, a Toyota Tundra, my oh, dream yeah. car. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a free Ford Mustang from Ford. My mom's eating a food truck. I'm, <laughs> we're gonna buy a freaking mobile home and just travel. Like, there's a lot of things to be excited about, and oh, now I'm thinking about it. I'm excited. Now it's I'm time to enjoy it, <laughs> yeah? I can enjoy it. I'm taking three months off. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna run and just run with my dogs and my husband. Oh. That's what's to come in a Good. long winded explanation. Well, you, you've earned a <laughs> yeah. break. And so yeah. you get to go get your medal and celebrate with your team, right? Yeah. I don't even know how. I know. I mean, I know how Helen did because I heard the flag and that was she motivating. Won. Yeah. And I don't know how my Maya did. lost. <laughs> close, close. Dang. Yeah. But. Dang. Uh. I was so emotionally attached to her, this whole entire thing, and I'm just so, so proud of her, and I wanted her to come out on top. She wrestled well. She did. Yeah, one, one point. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Now I'm crying for her. <laughs> uh, was that? Yeah, th thanks, Tamara. Congratulations. Enjoy tonight. Get up.